All right, this is Trino. I'm back at the uh, at the build site, and I wanted to give an update on the spring house. Guys are doing a real good job. They uh, they're already just about done with the height, and then they're going to put a a dome, a shallow dome on top, and then around around the top will be your typical castle wall. Of course, inside will be a dome. So I'll take a closer look. I'll show you the windows that were inspired by the Clint Eastwood and Spaghetti Western film. I can't remember the name of it. It might have been what, six or seven mules for Sister Sarah, or six mules. But um, Clint Eastwood was taking refuge in a in a farmhouse, and the farmhouse had windows with 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 a cross on each, and the shutters. When you shut the shut the windows, the you would have a a cross for up and down and side to side for fields of fire. And he complimented the the lady's son. He says, "Your son knew, sure knew how to build a house." And she said, "You're damn right, he did." <laughs> I I try to work in things from movies and into everything I do. And and by the way, the uh, the name of this is this is the spring house, but. It's also going to be going to be known as the Chateau Deef. So if you know what film the Chateau Deef is from, put it down in the comments and I'll let you know if you're right. This is the view from the what I would say the rear of the Chateau Deef is. I'm being careful because I'm walking on a bunch of rocks here. But I come around towards the front. This is where our, our one of our windows is. Can't really see too good with all the scaffolding, but it's a, it'll be an up and down vertical here and side by side vertical here, which gives you a great, great uh, field of fire, you know, straight towards the bridge. And that bridge is the only point of entry, you know, all the way up and down this river. Okay, coming around, this is the doorway. And like I said before, it's going to be an arched door, kind of a medieval type arched door. So they've created that form. That's a concrete wood form. So the wood's going to disappear, but it's just there to to form that uh, arch for the door jam. And then I'm going to build a, a steel door for this at a later date, based on the uh, same style as my steel door that they put in the garage with a few changes. Right now, or just brought some electrical supplies. We're going to put a, a light switch inside, and there'll be a, a simple uh, light outside. We'll probably make our own fixture, you know, like a wrought iron fixture for the light. Right now, or is putting in some rebar. They they hand bend the, the, this rebar for the concrete concrete form there what's really interesting about about this spring house is you almost can't see it it's almost invisible to you really walking up on it no, I'm almost on top of it right now right in front of the window and the more the more growth we get in here you won't you really won't be able to see much of it it'll be nice and shady back there 
over here we've got a, a pack horse coming down. These aren't working for me. These are farmers that harvest coconuts and bamboo from properties way behind mine. So, yeah, they're constantly bringing coconut down and, and bamboo. You know, it's, what's funny about the spring house is I take a little, even a little more joy about the construction of this than the main house. It's, it's really, it's not in, included in a main house, it's just my project, but it's so cool. It's nice up here today. It's a little overcast and I got a nice breeze coming now. I have to confess something, I have. Sometimes I jump to conclusions too fast. And uh, if you look on the one of the latest videos, the Menelite had just gotten here, and they they were putting up some walls. It looked like walls to me, and they were, but not for me. They were for the bodega that the Menelite guys are building. So that because I was looking at the wall, I was like, how are they going to pour concrete in that? I mean, that's what metal light's all about, is that you create the frame and you you periodically, uh, you know, brace both sides with uh, Hardy Flex board, which is a composite uh, fiber board. And then periodically you, you drop in concrete, so it's a formed in place wall. So I couldn't understand how they're going to get concrete in that. And then, so that was one thing that kept me up last night. And then I also saw that they had delivered like 30 pieces of 1 8 inch really cheap plywood. And uh, so I'm thinking, what's going on here? Uh, so I just, I jumped to the worst thought, you know, that, that they're going to make that are going to give me hollow walls with with uh, cheap plywood. So and I came I came in today and I got a big shock. So I'll, I'll I'll get a closer look. But if you look way over here, those guys are using that to build their bodega. Yeah, I mentioned in the last video that they're going to build their bodega because they're going to stay here for a few weeks while. Everything rises up. So it turns out that the uh, the light gauge steel framing system can be hollow. There's there's no reason why it can't if it's not load bearing. So it stands to reason these guys work for metal light, so they can make their bodega out of metal light and they're using that plywood uh, as kind of a, you know, as you would use drywall. And so they use that to build their bodega. So, shame on me. This is a closer look at the, uh, the Metalite guys. They're building their own bodega with Metalite product. And they're just using the hollow framing system with plywood. I'll take a look in here. It's pretty amazing. They did all of this since this morning, and it's it's not even 11 o'clock. Compare this with the bodega that that uh, the the construction guys use. Uh, it, it took it took a week, it took at least two weeks for them to build that, and then, you know they they used poured concrete floor over there, and it's all it's all wood, coconut lumber and plywood, and they popped this up in six hours. 
and I guess this if you use hardy board on here it, it could be termite free as well I don't know if you know it or not, but dogs, they just kind of hang back when you're pouring concrete. And they just speculate, hey, they done yet? They done yet? Yeah, they're done. Let's, let's wait till they walk away. Then they come in for the kill to walk on your fresh concrete. What are you guys planning? You gonna, you gonna walk on my concrete? Huh? You gonna walk on my concrete? Better not. Better not. Don't do it. Don't do it. I think that's it for this update. Stay tuned. Subscribe. I'll see you next time.